Hello, my name is Amanda Burma. I'm with Frog Logic, and today I'm going to show you how to work with code completion with Squish GUI Tester, more specifically working with Python as your scripting language. So the first thing that we're going to do is go to our preferences, which depending on operating system you're on, maybe from the Squish IDE menu or from the file or edit menu. But if we go to preferences, and then we're going to go to PyDev, to editor, and then to code completion. And from here, you'll be able to see what's checked by default, and by checking these two additional items, or based on what you have checked, making sure those are also checked, you're going to enable code completion for more scenarios. Now in addition to code completion, you may want Squish to understand and be aware of any functions that you have in your test suite resources, or your global scripts, and you want those included in your code completion list as well. So if we create first a test suite resource, we'll create um, two different functions that we'll then call from our test case. And as I begin typing, you'll notice that different options appear. So for example, um, if I want to use test.log and then enter a message. And if we put one more in here, and maybe this one will give a parameter, and so it shows me my variable I can pick from. Okay, so we have a global or a test suite script that is available to all of our test cases. Now how do we call and use that from our test cases? So if we create a new test case, we can begin scripting or recording however we'd like to do that. But if we want our test suite to be aware of any of the functions in our test suite resource scripts or our global scripts, we'll need to go up to Window, Show View, and select Other. Now from here, when you expand PyDev, you'll want to select the PyDev Package Explorer. This helps you set settings for your test suite. So I'm going to right click on my test suite, select Properties, and once you've set this for your test suite, it's maintained. I'm going to add a source folder, and because we now have a script in our test suite resources, we'll be able to see the shared folder and the scripts folder which is the one that we want our Python interpreter or Python path to be aware of. We also want to select force restore internal info to make sure that it updates and click OK. So once we have that we won't have to come back to that window again. We can now come to our primary test case here and we can begin scripting or like I said before you could record as well. So if I want to begin by calling um, a function from one of the test suite resources or global scripts, as you've done previously, you first need to use the source function, find file, and you see how it's helping me with this. It's a script and the file name. All right. So now that we have that, traditionally that's all we would do, but if we want code completion in there, let's say that I want to call um, our do something function. So I begin typing and you can see that that function is there. And it's telling us where that function is located to, what script file. I click enter and you'll notice that up above it automatically put this import statement in there for me. Now because we want to import everything and make everything available from that test suite resource, let's do this. Okay, so now everything that is in this particular test suite resource is available. So if we start typing in, we can see there's our other one, our other function, and what uh, my parameter is.
Thank you for watching this tutorial on code completion and working with Python.